it's John T for the Boxing Voice. I'm with trainer Alex Leo at the Hot Box. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for having me down. I've interviewed all your new pros. <laughs> uh, I think we'll, we'll start off with them if that's all right. So I know it's been tough for you all in lockdown yeah. um, because there's been no shows on, but I think you've now turned over about six or seven new pros. To give, give us a little bit about them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got a really busy stable. I think we've, we're now up to um, 13 professionals in the stable now. Um, we've got everything from heavyweight down to flyweight. Um, starting with the lowest, you've got um, George Ellis, really ex- exciting prospect coming through. Uh, and then from there, you've got obviously Tory Brown, another one coming through. Hadley Jalil's making a comeback, been out of the ring a few years. Uh, Ash Sexton, obviously experienced, seasoned. And then from there, you've got obviously Young Jaheed. And then hopefully, we've got a couple more around that sort of way, but I can't really tell one thing yet. We've been talks with people about joining. Um, and then Tommy Jacob now on the scene, you know, experience bringing a you know, abundance of energy to the gym. Connor Wright, Sherelle Brown, Georgie Bacon, Ryan Charles. Now we have he's a heavyweight seven and one, but he's uh, sort of looking to go to the Olympic route with St. Lucia. But he's still obviously a professional um, doing pro am. Think so, he's sparring Fabio Wardley. Yeah, at the moment, he's just he? he's just been up to which now just finished sparring Fabio Wardley uh, with Jamie Toshiba as well mm-hmm. and Lorenzo Grosso was there as well sparring so yeah we're, we're literally booming in a minute really really busy and it's, it's buzzing so it's just really, waiting for these fights we're to waiting we're on. ticking yeah we're counting down now we just want to get one in and uh, hopefully have a really successful 2021 what might happen when it does happen because some of them have got like different uh, promoters some haven't got yeah. promoter yet etc would you try and get as many out on like one card together <laughs> Well, we do, we'll do the best we can. Obviously, a lot of, a lot of them are with Mo Pryor, and obviously, I'm hoping he would put a, a few other guys on one show rather than drip feed. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I've got a couple elsewhere. It's just a bit busy. It's, it's going to be may, like mayhem. So, it'd be nice to get them all out together, but we'll see what happens. Good stuff. Wow. Well, that brings me on to you had another uh, hot prospect in this gym. It was John Hedges. So, last time I saw you, I just won his first fight on a matchroom yeah. card on his pro debut, and I know that you took him through the amateurs. Um, mm. And now he's left. He's gone to another gym. What happened there? Yeah. Um, so basically, after his fight, um, it was a uh, was very distant from us as coaches. Uh, he came back into the gym, and he again, you know, was fine. We wouldn't think nothing of it. Um, but you sort of get a funny feeling as a coach that you know, they're, they're a bit distant from everyone else in the, in the room. Um, within a couple of weeks, we um, had a sit down with his dad, who's a trainer here at Hoddleston. Um, and my dad, obviously, is the, he was the main man here. And they're saying that he um, has to move to a more high profile coach. Um, well, what can you, I, I, I didn't know what to say to that one really. Um, I thought it was a kick in the teeth, considering that um, you know with all the work we put in with him from you know from a he come to us with a, I think it was four bouts, one two, lost two, and then finishing with us at forty four and forty wins, and then obviously turning pro. It was sort of just a drop of the hat. See you later. I'm uh, I'm off now. There wasn't really any. Um, it felt like to me. Fight, you know. Oh no, I've got to stay with my team because they have done everything for me. It was sort of like I've got to do it because I'm being made to do it. This and Matrim are the biggest uh, promotional company. I'm, I'm guessing it's hard for these young young talents that if they're being asked to go elsewhere, I mean, it's their careers in the day. But surely, as an individual, if you're happy where you are, you would want to stay and work with the people you, you know you would care about. But yeah, he left. Um, he's now with Mark Tibbs, so. Uh, more high profile coach than us um, so it's, yeah it's a bit of a kick in the teeth for us but it is what it is boxing it's a dodgy game you'll bounce back mate no doubt on that just quickly what I would ask on that um, if you don't mind because you just mentioned someone said high profile yeah this is a great gym and I'm not just saying it because you stood here and I'm interviewing you you've got quite a few pros in here you've got a good range from maybe a little bit older in the early 30s right mm-hmm. down to youngsters as young as 18, 19 even, yeah. is there a danger that some of these ones that have just turned pro that you've talked around, that they've got national titles, etc., in the bag, the amateur career, which you have helped them do that, mm. that maybe if they do become big, that that could happen? Yeah, I mean, it happens in a lot of gyms, not just this gym. Mm. Um, there's plenty of gyms out there that, you know, they'll get these national champions and, uh, you know, they'll, they'll get... <laughs> They say about poaching people. You know, it's not just John that's left. Um, a few people in this gym have gone elsewhere because people have got in their ear about oh, 
you know, Hoddleston, you know, yeah, it's a great amateur club, but they're not really known for professional abilities. Well, that's, I'm sorry, I think that's bollocks because we put so much attention into these boxes. And I'm, listen, we're not getting paid to do it. You know, I'm, we're sacrificing time and energy mm. to make these people the best versions of themselves. And, you know, when people just drop you like a hat, it, it really frustrates people like myself and my dad because, you know, you don't want to be forgotten about at the end of the day and these guys move on to better things and when you do see them they, they ignore you in the street and it's a bit like you've got to be a bit more humble and you know respect where you come from but what can you do it's a, it's a dodgy game boxing um, there is always unfortunately there is other coaches out there that do poach boxers oh, come to me I'll, I can give you this uh, promotional platform I know him really well as we're us you know we just keep our heads down we get going and we let talent speak for itself um, with obviously national titles etc but when they do win them titles, yeah, you get a lot of people sniffing around going, oh, come with me because uh, my uh, partner walks their dog with Eddie Earns, my wife, or it's, it's like that. And unfortunately, because they're young and naive and want to, you know, they want to be in, on the big shows, they, they will jump, some of them. And, you know, loyalty nowadays in boxing is a, is a massive, uh, well, I don't think there's any much of it really left, but if you do find a lot of one, they're the ones to work with. Well, you've got a good bunch in here as I've mentioned so hopefully these like, you start getting these out and Definitely. getting their records looking Definitely. really good and we'll, we'll move forward and get this gym more known like yeah. it should be <laughs> well look thanks for taking time out to talk to us Alex no and uh, we'll be down shortly once all the fights are arranged and get some uh, time Always in with the lads welcome. Thank cheers you, mate cheers. if you enjoyed the video feel free to hit the like subscribe and share as always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from title, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.